What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and this is Race Room Racing Experience. So today we're going to be doing a 15 minute race against a full field of AI from the newly released Macau circuit driving the WTCC 2014 package. Today we're going to be driving the Citroen. Not the Lada, even though the Lada is clearly the superior automobile, but got to at least spread it out a little bit, show you guys some different cars. But Macau, a tight, twisty, technical, exceptionally challenging street circuit, perhaps the most difficult circuit in the world. I'm just going to say it. Like People always go on and on about the Nürburgring. No, Macau has walls that are right there as a street circuit, as crazy elevation changes, is insanely tight and twisty, and plus the fact that it is a street circuit means that the walls are even closer than close. As in, the safety barriers are more danger barriers because they actually take a lot of space away from what would be the racing line. It's crazy, and therefore I like it. So anyways, let's get on to the race. Alrighty, gonna be starting this short little 15 minute race from 8th position. AI set to 113% difficulty, and, well, the over-under on the number of times I'm going to hit the wall in this video. Let's put that at 7.5. So will I hit the wall 8 times, or will I only hit it 7 times? Place your bets now. And hello. Of course, this is touring car racing, that means take all of the curbing even when it's totally unnecessary as well as bump into your opponents as much as you can because touring car racing and you guys all thought I was about to just run into my teammates there didn't you I would never do that unlike some people anyways <laughs> yes yeah, so we can all joke and we can all laugh about that now I mean Fun, fun, fun. And some of you guys are going to be like, what the heck is he talking about? Some of you guys will know. <laughs> no hard feelings, though. No hard feelings at all. Anyways, this circuit is absolutely all about setting up for the corner, three corners from the corner that you're in. Because, <laughs> as you can already tell, basically every circuit, or every corner... It was followed by a corner shortly thereafter in the opposite direction. Which basically means if you get one corner wrong, you get the next corner wrong. And if you get that corner wrong as well, well, then you're in the wall in the third corner. That's just how this track works. Seriously, this is one of the most difficult circuits you're going to find. And I think somebody just smashed into the wall there. Which seems to happen way too often. Now, in defense of this game, it happens in every single racing game with the AI. Like, you're not going to find very many racing games where the AI is actually capable of navigating that tight of a corner successfully, efficiently. Lap after lap after lap after lap after lap, but... They do tend to hit that wall on the inside of that corner more often than I'd like to see. So hopefully Sector 3 Studios will actually uh, work on a fix for that and to hopefully improve the raceability of the AI through there. Not even like raceability as in like passing. Because that is most definitely not a passing opportunity, but just keep them from running into the wall and getting stuck. But that's okay anyways, because I'm planning on going forward in this race anyway, so any cars that were behind me, totally irrelevant to my interests. You can just say, how in the world does a city have any sort of thing resembling traffic flow if this is their streets? Like, let's be real here. <laughs> this has just got carnage written all over it for your average driver.
I don't see how it's how it's possible at all. We barely avoided the wall on that one. So for those of you guys keeping score, that doesn't count. Okay. Might have looked like we hit it, but we didn't. I just can't stand that corner. Playing on a single monitor, you basically just get to the corner and you're like, ah, we're going to turn it in now. And you just basically hope that you didn't just throw it into the center divider, which would be just absolutely embarrassing, to say the least. Not that I've done that before or anything. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and remain silent here. I'll let you guys enjoy a lap of Macau with the Race Room Racing Experience Citroen and those awesome sounds. It is such a fun circuit though when you actually put in a lap where you don't hit everything that you possibly can, which feels like its own little small little victory. <laughs> you know, it's it's definitely a challenge and that's why I like this place. So I'd say that this is probably one of those circuits which I think yeah, if you do have race through racing experience, this is one I would suggest probably picking up. Even though it does have the issue with the AI and how they perform within the hairpin and they do get stuck there too often, but I think maybe Sector 3 can work on that a little bit and, and hopefully hopefully patch that out, but you know this is one of those circuits that you're not gonna see this place in iRacing ever. You know, you're probably not going to see it in any other sim, any other game, because this circuit, obviously, with all the all the objects trackside, you know, the trackside objects, you know, the, the trees, the buildings, the textures, the barriers, you know, it is a heck of a lot of work to create a circuit like this. And because of it, most studios aren't going to go ahead and take on a project like this. 
So just to have a circuit like this done to the quality that it is done to, it's just one of those things that is unique to Race Room Racing Experience right now. And it's pretty cool. Apparently, I think that's one of the other Citroens. So we're running one through four, which from what I'm told is pretty much how the real World Series goes. I don't know, I've never watched a World Touring Car race. Well, I haven't watched one in like six years, but uh, apparently they always just basically dominate, so. Go realism, right? Time check here. Five minutes. Should, should probably be two or three laps. Wahoo! 155 mile an hour corner in a front wheel drive car. Why not? There's absolutely nothing that seems safe about that at all. I don't care if you're my teammate, we still must follow touring car touring car protocol, which means I am required to bump into you as much as possible. Is again, touring cars. That's what they do. One thing I will say is quite disappointing is apparently they've changed the rules for these cars, which means that they are allowed wide bodies, basically. You know, the fender flares and everything, which means that you can't you can't just go ahead and knock the mirrors off these things as easily. It's quite disappointing. It'd be really cool if I could just go ahead and knock my left mirror and my right mirror totally off the car just by running that close to the wall. And that was on me. Whoops, sorry. 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 Sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. Just kind of got in there a little bit hot. <laughs> but you know what? I don't even care. In case you haven't figured it out, yes, we are playing on reduced damage. Just because I would like to actually finish making this video. Obviously, I'm not going to stop hitting the walls anytime soon here at this track. So that's just the best solution for everybody's enjoyment. Seriously, there ain't no circuit in the world that's got anything on this place in terms of difficulty. <laughs> not a single circuit out there. That corner right there is so tricky because it feels like it's way slower than what it actually is. So you go in there and you're charging in there and you're like, oh crap, oh crap, this corner's tighter than that. You gotta slow down. And then next thing you know, you're like, why am I going this slow? Like, see right there, I totally, totally should have taken the mirror off. Except for the fact that they had to change the rules. I mean, there should be one rule in touring car racing beyond the two golden rules of touring car racing, which is hit all your opponents and use as much curbing as possible. And that should always be the mirrors have to stick out further than anything else. That way you can take the mirrors off them when you run into each other, run into the barriers and things like that. It just makes things more exciting.
Uh. <laughs> the corner, so sketchy. So incredibly sketchy on a single monitor setup. It is the racing game equivalent of spray and pray through there. Just turn in and hope it works. Okay, this should be our final lap, I do believe. Yeah, so let's finish this off with a good one. Let's go as fast as we can. Let's do this. Or as, I should say, as fast as we can while still surviving and not hitting the walls and things like that. So let's do that. Sounds like a better plan. Well, screw that plan. It didn't sound exciting anyways. there. Which, as you can see there, just totally threw my line off for the rest of the corners. That's how this circuit works. If you want to improve your precision, this is definitely a good place for it because if you get it wrong, you're going to pay for it 100% of the time. Okay, last trip to the hairpin. Let's not let's not screw it up like an idiot. Oh, we just just did a front wheel drive burnout, basically <laughs> exiting the corner. But whatever. At least we didn't run into the center barrier. That was all I was really looking for. Just don't run into the center barrier, and that's what we did. Oh, massive stutter. That that should not count, okay? The game just stuttered on me, okay? That's what that was. It stuttered, and that's why I went into the wall. It wasn't a driving fail. It wasn't driving error. But at least that's what I'm going to say, because I totally would never run into the walls because I'm just that good of a driver, totally. Never hit things, never, never run into my opponents, never run into the walls or anything. Best driver ever. I mean, totally, definitely right here. Anyways... Macau for race room racing experience. Pretty awesome track. Pretty challenging. It's, it's definitely a unique offering from race room racing experience, which is cool to see. So give it a go. Is apparently I'm having more stuttering issues. I don't know. I think uh, they're they're related to the hard drive that I'm recording to uh, in this game. I do believe when I'm not recording. There's no stutters or issues or anything like that. <laughs> the frame rate's just fine, but it just seems like whenever I'm recording. Especially on this track, uh, every now and then it does pop up, but should have been too terribly bad, hopefully, in the videos. If it was, I do apologize, but uh, yeah, give this, give this circuit a go, because it's fun, and it's challenging. And it's fun because it's challenging, because it's fun and challenging, so hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.